after we've suffered a while, make us perfect. That no matter what I'm going through with, he's already put a limit on this thing. God says, I'm going to renew you, but you got trust. I said the way you wanted to do it, I, I'm not going to do it that way. I, I got another direction I want you to take. God will never leave you nor forsake you. I, if God pleases, I, he could have sustained you. I, if God let things went down. I, if God pleases, God will deal with whatever is dealing with you. Amen? So today I want to talk from this subject. Uh, not without him. You won't do this without God. You won't come out without God. Hello, somebody? So in this season, church, we really going to have to be all about God. It's not just enough to go to church. Prayer is spending time with God, getting God's instruction, hearing what thus says the Lord. There are some doors that will not open without God. Hello, somebody? So today, um, I want to give you some revelation, not information, but I want to give you some revelation because once you see that God is the author and the finisher of all our lives, hello, somebody? And I don't know um, who may think that you can strategize good enough that after a while things just work out. Well, I'm, well, I'm here to tell you that uh, it is by God's grace and mercy that you have been consumed. Hello, somebody? Because God hauls off and says, your thoughts are not my thoughts. When you really start thinking of what you can do to get out, and you're going to try to make this work and that work, then it is a blessing that God don't move his hands to show you that you can't do anything without me. Hello, somebody? And, and, and there's so many people that, that once they start walking in blessings, are not only walking in blessings, but there's a lot of people that once they start going through, then they really start taking matters in their own hands, trying to do stuff their own way. Hello, somebody? But I really want to encourage you to never, ever count God out. Hello, somebody? Never think that you know enough that, that I could do this and I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, no, you need God. Hello, somebody? You, you, you really need God. And we're living in a, in a time now where um, it's a lot of people who really don't value having a strong relationship with God. Their relationship is with their money, with their group, or with whatever they think is important. But hear me. When it's all said and done, if God don't okay it, it won't get done. Hello, somebody? I don't care what you're doing. If God shut it down, it's going to all stop. So I, I want to show you now. We're praying, and uh, we are interceding, and we're seeking the face of God because why? Wow, we want God to know that we need you, that God, without you, will fail. We can't do this without you. I love everything that God is doing uh, in this church and in my life. But those that, that really know me know that I really spend a lot of time in this church by myself. Why? Because I, I really don't ever want God to think that I think that we can handle this. Hello, somebody? I want God to know that I am dependent upon him. Last year, I will, I will men's conference. And I think some of those guys had some great breakthroughs because our thing was dependent upon God. In church, we are in this season where we have to really stay before God's face and let God know. Now, there are some things that's going to go on in your life. There are some doors that, may, that the enemy may close. But just because the enemy closed those doors, don't you turn your back against God. Hello, somebody? Because that door that was closed, God has some doors that he could yet open. That he could yet open for you. And I know that those of you that have homes, I know the insurance rate that went up a whole nother thousand dollars. I know all kinds of things are going on. But hear me real good. Do not allow the enemy to steal your inheritance. 
Do not allow the enemy to walk away with what God has given you. You hear me? Because you go on your knees and you start seeking the face of God, you start calling on the name of Jesus, God has strategies, concepts, and ideas that you have not really even tapped into yet. God got something right now that, that he could do right now that can, that can fix your problem that you're dealing with in, in an instant. Do you hear me? But you got to stay before God. What the enemy wants you to do, he, he wants you to run seeking everything but God. So, so today I really want to give us revelation. Um, Joel chapter 2, if you would, Pastor. Look at, look at somebody and say, make your mind up. You can't do it without God. Hello, somebody. You, 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 you really can't do it without God. And, and let me tell you something. I'm learning now that, that faith work is really by love. And so no matter how stressed out the enemy tries to make me, I have to still make sure my love game is still in effect. Do you hear me? Because when, because when you start praying and start seeking the face of God, the enemy will if he can, try to add stuff to your plate. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I got anybody here. He'll try to add some stuff to your plate, knowing that after a while that he, he just really wants you to just, just to take your eyes off the door. Hello, somebody? I don't know who I came for today, but I got to talk to somebody. He really wants you to take your eyes off the Lord. So, so I understand what he'll do, because now we're focused. We are praying, and we're, it says what? We're looking to the hills from which cometh our help. And we're calling on the name of God, and we're telling God, say, now, I know that you have a plan for my life. I know that you know how this thing can work out and how to turn this thing around. But what the enemy will do, now he'll put something else on your plate because he wants you to what? Take your eyes off of the Lord, and you done already gave God this, but you're going to handle that. Hello, somebody? Look at somebody and say, get all to God. Get all to God. I'm, I, I know who I came for today. Get all to God because, you know, you done already prayed and you done gave God this and then he'll put something else on your plate and you'll try to handle that and then God say, I need you to keep your eyes on me. Trust me. Hello, somebody? Because the minute you take your eyes off of God, everything is tied together. Things will start going down. Hello, somebody? A lot of y'all don't, don't understand that the enemy, he really deals in, in bulk. He just don't want just, just you. Hello, somebody? He want to bring the whole house down. Do you know that? He don't just want you. And, and the thing about it, if you take your eyes off God, then everything starts being about you. Because as long as your eyes is on God and you stand before God's faith, you'll, you'll be telling God about everybody. Hello? Help my wife. Help my children. Help my grandchildren. Help the church. Help this. Help that. Lord, help my friend that died in the hospital. But when you take your eyes off God and you start sinking, the minute you start sinking, then everything becomes about help me. Hello, somebody? And we don't need to get there because see, once you turn your back on, on everything else and it be about you, then God got to, what, stop everything to work with you to get you back, what, in focus. And if you're out of focus this morning, if you're a little bit out of focus, you need to grab this word and tell God, and say, God, I know that you can still fix it. Hello, somebody? So, so he can put you back in focus. So you'll take this off of you and put your eyes back on what it really needs to be. And write this down. Every assignment gives an angel. Every assignment God gives you, he gives you an angel. He said, I'll give you an angel, and he'll keep you in, your, in the way. That angel uh, have, to, have to give reports back and forth. And whether it need reinforcement, whether it need God to release some more angels to bring about whatever you're praying about or whatever God has already spoken on your life, it is available because you got an angel. And I don't know who it is, but God told me to tell you uh, that that door, uh, that access that you have opened, and the enemy got access to your money, 
to your house, to your children. God said he's getting ready to cut that access off. Hello, somebody? You gave the devil access by opening your mouth. Hmm. You gave him access, but God said he's going to close that access because you are about to be reestablished. I don't know who it is. Lord, have mercy. I don't know who it is, but, but how like he's talking about me. God says he's about to reestablish your finances. He's about to reestablish your home. He's about to fix some things. Hello, somebody? You gave the enemy access, but since we've been in prayer, hello, somebody? God said, now I am going to close that door. It won't have access to that. Hello, somebody? You're trying to go to church, and you're trying to serve God, and, 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 and you're doing all you can, and not knowing that the end of the day got access. That's the reason why things are, are, are going crazy. That's why these children, like that. that's why the money seems like you can't never get enough. Why? Because the enemy got access to this stuff. God said, I'm, I'm going to close that door. Joel chapter 2, if you would, Pastor, verse 5. Y'all pray for me today because I really came in here. Like I told you last week, I got to make sure that, that this devil know that we're going to give you every bit of revelation we can. Now, what you do with it is up to you. Hold on, right now. I just heard the Spirit say, bind up stubbornness. So some of y'all think y'all know. Listen, I stay before God and I still don't know enough. Hello, somebody? Do, do you hear me? I stay before God and I still don't know because every time I look around, God show me something that I thought that I knew. Hello, somebody? And, and it let me know every step of the way. I'm the one ordering your step. You cannot do this without me. Praise him. Come on, Pastor. I'm sorry. Read, baby. Like the noise of the chariot on the top of mountains. Is, 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 is that um, Joel? Yes. Joel 2 and 5? Yes. I said Joel 2 and 5. Come on. Yes. Did I say that? Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Joel 2 and 25. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Well, put that one right there. Have you been put that one right there? Come on, they cut your mic off. Come on, let's go. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, and the canker worms, and the caterpillars, and the pommel worms, and my great army, which I sent among you. Come and on. And he shall eat Skip down. in plenty. Skip down to verse 28. I don't and it shall come yet. to pass uh -huh. afterward mm -hmm. that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, mm -hmm. and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and the young men shall see visions. Listen, visions. God is not just going to restore you, but he's going to do something with your children. I, I wish I had two of y'all that, 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 that really understood what I'm trying to get. He's not going to just restore you, but God says, I'm going to work on the kids too. Hello, somebody? Huh? I'm going to restore everything that you've been through. You did not know that in that, in, in, in that moment, in the words you said, in that attitude you got, that you opened access to the enemy. Hello, somebody? In the enemy, some of y'all, he's been working on some situations and circumstances, and y'all been watching one another. Y'all don't even hardly talk sometimes. Why? Because you think it's her, and she think it's you, but somebody left the door. Hello, somebody? And the enemy had access. The one thing that the devil do, he is a disguiser. That's why you got to pray, because if you start praying, God will show him up. God will show you where he at, what he's working through, and who he's using. Hello, somebody? And, and, and God is so good, he'll show you that what you're doing. What, what do you mean? Because now, here, here is now David. David goes before God. And want to pray. And God hollered up and tell David, David, you the man. Hello? You the man. Just look at somebody and say, you open that door. Now prayer going to have to get in and close. Uh -huh. You open that door. No, you the man. David, David thought it was somebody else. David praying and, and then David said, oh, well, no, no, he said, you. I believe all of us that stand in this room. I've said some things we shouldn't have said. 
Ask some ways we shouldn't act. Hello, somebody? I, I, listen, I talked this boy here a long time ago. Don't call me this fool. The devil overrated. He ain't doing everything you say he's doing. He can't do everything you, he, he, you say he's doing. He's overrated. You had to let him in for him to do anything. Hmm? Says, uh, uh, well, I, I really don't believe that. Well, in, in, in James, it says, if you resist the devil, hello, somebody, he would have flee. How did somebody say you didn't resist him? Uh -huh, so now you gave him access. See, once he get access, only prayer can get him out. Hello, somebody? So now God said, I'm going to restore everything. And I'm not going to even leave your children out. Isaiah 10, verse 27. God said, I'm going to restore, and I'm not going to leave your children out. Hello, somebody? So God's getting ready to do what? How does somebody say a new thing? Your prayers going to give you victories in areas that look like you were defeated at. Hello, somebody? Through God, God's going to give you some victory. Come on, baby. Isaiah 10 and 27. Mm. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in that day that his, his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder. Listen, God is going to remove somebody's burden. Tell you something. That house, them children, these bills, somebody ain't sleeping, you know? It has become what? A burden. And when you really think be a burden, it weighs on you. Hello, somebody? Now it becomes what? A yoke on your life. But God said he's getting ready to what? Do it so good until there won't be any trace of the sleepless nights. There won't be no trace of you almost giving up because he's about to bless you real good. Hello. Come on, somebody said, God's about to bless me real good. Hello, somebody. He says, I'm going to take that yoke. Huh? Uh, uh, that year's an anointing. I, I wish I could just teach you the way I feel it. That year's an anointing that you've been resisting. Why? That year's an anointing you've been resisting. Why? Because you're trying to tell God, give me a little time, I'll work it out. I don't know who I came for. Give me a little time, I'll work it out. I'll make them see. I'll make everybody understand. They ain't the work for us. Why? Because you want God to give you a little time. Why? Because you know that the whole real deal is, God, if I, if, 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 if I have to admit that I need you, that means I got to let everything else go. Hello, because God is a jealous God. You can't hold out and say, I need him and still hold on to what you're trying to do. Hello, so if you ever really tell God, God, I need you. If you help me, I God said, well, for me to help, you're going to have to let it all go. How does somebody say let it go? I feel like, I feel like having children. Mm, uh, you can't do this thing without God, baby. Come on, you've been doing this thing for the last year, the last six months, the last couple of years. You've been trying to show everybody else that you was all right. You ain't, ain't all right. You need Jesus. Talking to in this place. Who I'm talking to? The money won't flow without him. Hello, somebody. Listen, God says I'm. Listen, see, you don't want God grace to step by. But see, what the what the devil wants you to do is stay out here, stay in a mindset, stay in a disposition until God says enough. See, he, he, told, he told Jeremiah, had you called me, had you, who I came for the day, who is this? He told Jeremiah, had you called me, I would answer. God would bring different scenarios in your life. You think what you're going through with is of the devil. God says, that's just another scenario. I am trying to get you to come to your senses. I am trying to get you to come to yourself. Hello, somebody? Do y'all hear me today? Listen, that prodigal son losing all his money wasn't the devil. God said, listen, if I let him stay out here too long, the prayers of his daddy has to be heard. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the prayers that have been prayed over your life has to still be heard. They're up in heaven, and the angels every day say, Lord, I still got this. I still win. What year? What day? So now God said, let him run out of money. No, no, he said, because if they run out of money, 
Then they'll do some things that they said they wouldn't do. Then they'll start doing some things they said they wouldn't do. Then they'll come to themselves. Hello, somebody? See, sometimes God will let things get, he allow things to go low enough because he's trying to bring you to yourself. Hello, somebody? Nudge, nudge your neighbor and say he don't have to go that far. But when you act like you can handle it, act like you don't really need him, <laughs> can I show y'all something? You should, because he's not, hear me, what, watch this. Uh, uh, huh, hold that. Okay, so now, this is me being me. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't go up. I'm just doing what I want to do. Going where I want to go. Enjoying life. Man, I'm, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Yeah, everything all right, man. Yeah, I got it like that. I'm, I, 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 ain't nobody like me. I don't really need nobody, man. I got this thing. So now, I got one uh, persona around you. Now to, now to play with God. Here I am on Sundays. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Thank you. Yeah, God. Yeah. Broke is all I know. My house is messed up. My life is messed up. Everything is jacked up, right? And God said, you got to really come to yourself. You got to come to yourself. Listen to me. Corona brought me to a whole other place in prayer. Even though y'all showed so much love yesterday, y'all couldn't come close to me during the corona. They didn't allow us to come close. They forbidden us to come together. Hello, somebody? And all I had were this relationship with God. The people you're back in the hospital, I'm, I'm a pastor, and I can't go visit people. All I got now is the spirit of the Lord. Now I need a strong relationship so when I talk to God, he can send an angel. And how quick do we forget? God can remove everything. How quick do we forget we didn't have nothing? How quick did I forget that me and my wife started out on welfare? God forbid I treat them like that. So every day I got to tell the Lord I need you. Can't do this without you. They won't let me go. The enemy won't let the people in the church enjoy life. God, they won't let We got to stay before God. We got to keep on calling on God. And we don't go tell God about who did what, about what did what. He already know that. He want to know, what do you need me to do? See, when you come to God, don't tell God about your wife. Don't tell God about your children. You tell God, I just need you to fix it. Can I get four on this side? Is that God, I just need you to fix it. Hello, somebody? I, I, I just need you to turn this thing around. I need you to order this thing. And so now God's saying, God's saying, oh, you need me. Oh. All he wanted to do, all he wanted, Pastor, just to be needed. He said, you need me? How oh, come on? A couple weeks ago, me and my wife needed God. God said, all I need to know is if you need me. If you need me, I'll touch every member you got. I'll make them help you because you need me. How does somebody say, I can't do this thing without God? I need him, I need him, I need him, I need him, I need him. I need him to give me back the years that the canker pillar and cattle pillar and I need, I need God. Now, not only restore me, but God restore my children as well. I need four of y'all. That already made your mind up that he's going to have to loose me now. Huh? Uh, Why? Because I ain't trying to get loose by myself. Huh? Uh, I'm trying to tell God if you don't help me. What the most folks say, I can't stand the storm. Huh? Uh, Lord, I need your help. Huh? Uh, Lord, I need you to show up like you never showed up before. Huh? Uh, I need you to turn things around for my life. Huh? Uh, Some how I this assignment is bigger than me. Huh? Uh, I need every angel that is available to help me. Witness assignment. Ha. Wipe out everything that's trying to block me. Ha. Lord, I can't do it. Ha. I don't see it. Ha. I read a book that says seen and unseen angels. Ha. There are some people that's in your life that you can see every day 
and they'll bless you. Ha. But there are some people you'll never see. Ha. And God will cause them to be somewhere in California, ha. somewhere in New York. Ha. But he'll trust them ha. and say, just pray. Ha. The prayers of the righteous, mm, ha. the very much. Ha. He'll how I pray. Ha. They're praying in New York. Ha. But I got a breakthrough in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ha. Why? Because God said pray. Ha. If you pray, ha. God put angels on the road. If you pray, God will turn things around. I need somebody that will make up their mind that this is my series. I'm going to pray until God order the enemy to leave things alone. I'm going to pray until the anointing. I told y'all that there's an anointing coming. Y'all think y'all seen something. Y'all think y'all seen you ain't seen the best of God ha, until you get down way low. Ha, I not know ha, that God said you didn't see the best of me ha, until you needed me like you never needed me before. When well, you need God, when well, you need him ha, like you never needed him before, ha, you'll see the best of God. Ha, eyes have not seen. Ha, tell your neighbor ha, that you get ready to see some baby. Ha, have not seen, ears have not heard, but God get ready to work a miracle in my life. I was a high father, y'all, that didn't mind and the devil know. I'm coming out. Sit down, I got to teach this thing. Sit down, please. Uh, look at your name and say, that is an anointing. Mm. I showed Sister Paula on yesterday. I said, Sister Paula, this is my word. I said, let me show it to you. I showed her, it says, uh, you can strip me of uh, everything I have. Uh, and I'll get it back again. I said, because it is not what's on me. Ha. It is in me. Ha. Look, somebody said, great is he. Ha. That's ha. Great is he that is in me. Ha. The heat is in the world. Ha. In your prayer time, you're waking him up. Ha. You're telling God, I need you. Ha. I need you to prove yourself. Ha. I need you ha. to let the devil know ha. that I am ha. a child of the Lord. Ha. Touch your name and say, touch not ha. my anointing. Ha. And do it Ha, probably no harm. Ha, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ha, God's about to turn. Listen, I got to, I got to teach this, but how did somebody say, you just, you just tell your name, that God's about to turn my husband loose. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all don't understand. Y'all, I got to, you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't. You don't understand. I got, to, I got to hurry up and go. You don't understand. You, you, you don't understand. He's a. Uh, you don't understand. See, 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 see. I'm serving God. I, 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 I got, I got, I got to walk with God. But, but uh, I don't know who this is for. But uh, uh, God said, "Tell him here. I'm gonna turn him loose. I'm gonna turn him loose." Uh, you know what? The devil been had him way down. Uh, the devil been manipulating. Uh, the devil had access to his mind. Uh, but God said. Uh, I'm getting ready to turn him loose. I'm going to make sure that every door access, he won't think the way he used to think. He won't talk the way he used to talk. God getting ready to turn. Just wave your hands. I don't know who that was for. Uh, just wave your hands. I'm trying to teach this. Mm. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but, uh, but, but uh, listen. But woman, if I was you, I'd touch another woman. <laughs> and I'd tell her, I said, God says it's time for you to progress. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this devil been, 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 been tied your house up long enough. <laughs> I just need you to touch another woman. Touch it. God says it's time for you to progress. Oh, your house been tied up long enough. Oh, things been funny long enough. But God get ready to turn some things loose. How y'all bust shit in the ocean? So I holler like hell.
to go. Listen. Listen to me, brothers. This ain't no male showing this sermon. I, 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 just got to, I just heard God told me to tell somebody. He's getting ready to lose your husband. The devil been had that mind. He ain't a bad man. But God says, access. The devil has access to how he thinks. The devil has access to how he thinks. His thoughts are not my thoughts. His ways. If you ever get into your thinking, he'll mess with your ways. You can see him, but it don't look like yourself. He the same man, but it don't like the one you married. But God said, get ready. I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to close every access. I'm going to remove every hindrance. Somebody said, God I was doing it. I, I couldn't do it. I, you tried to love it out of him. I, you tried to hold it out of him. I, you tried to be mad and hope he would leave him. I, you tried to cut him off and thought he would leave him. I, but baby, I, God said, I, now that you tired, I, I'll do it for you. I, you can't do it I, without me. I, somebody, I, 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 help. You ought to tell God, help. I need you to turn him around. I need you to fix it. Ah! Sit down. Listen, I'm going to finish. Colossians. Go to Colossians. I, I got to finish. <laughs> oh, God. Go to Colossians. So then, so then now what, what he says, he says, I'm going to restore. He said, I'm going to restore the years. Somebody been going through this a while. Hmm. He said, but I'm going to restore. Then, then he hauled off and said, this ain't affected your children. Hmm. So now I'm going to have to talk to them. And then God said, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. He says, I'm going to use the anointing. Ooh. I'm going to use what I've used to destroy every yoke. Mm. Oh, God. He says, he's going to use the anointing. Pastor, verse 14, if you would. Colossians 2 and 14. Let, let me show it to him. Colossians 2 and 14. I, I just heard you. Hold on, baby. I just heard some silly person say, well, what about her? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let, let God finish with you. <laughs> he going to get to her. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> what, why he going to get to her? Because God said he told her. <laughs> he said, the man is warned by the conversation of the woman. <laughs> he said, now with her, all she got to do <laughs> is to go back to talking like she's in love. You should, come on, you shouldn't have let me hurt you. All she got to do is because he said, her conversation, uh, it's just something about a woman. Uh, I don't care how, how holy you think you are. I don't care how, how tight you think you are. That's why I try to stay by myself. Because if the right woman walk around you and start talking. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm selling uh, lipstick. You know I don't wear no lipstick. I bruise I bought too. <laughs> my, my wife don't even, he, he even wear purple. He said, the purple is, I'm going to give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Give me the purple and give me that yellow right there. Because they have the right woman talk. I, I know y'all ain't going to talk. I thought y'all had me. Hold on. Hold on. I, I thought he joking had me. Bruce, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody here got me. I, I thought y'all had me. Dion going out the door. Come on, I thought y'all, I thought somebody had me. I thought, I, Dion said, kick it here. Kick it here. I thought somebody had me. Huh? <laughs> Dion said, oh. Travis, don't breathe now. Don't. Ooh, she said, Ooh, come on, try. Ooh, try to be. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to me. If the right, if all my wife got to do, God say, He's given her an ability. That if she opened her mouth, things change. You got me? Things change. Hear me, I, I don't know who this is for. Because you remember where Adam started throwing blame. God's going to do a new thing. We ain't got no time to throw blame. I know you said it way, but, way, but we under, that's a mindset. Oh, no, 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 you said it. No, I can say no. 
No, don't try to fix it now. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach this thing. He said, not he said it. He said it while this anointing flowing. Hello, somebody? He said it while the anointing flowing. Now, listen. He came to her and said, the woman you gave me. Hello, somebody? But God had already gave us a command. What I'm saying today, man, God has given us a command that we will just go before God and tell God, I need you to help me. I need you to destroy this yoke. I need my family back right. I need my house back right. I need the bills paid again. I don't care how they raise whatever they're raising. I don't care how high the insurance go or whatever. God will say, because your family needs shelter, they can't take this. God will say, because your family is depending on you, I got to open the door for you. Hello, somebody. Why? Because God said, I'm going to bless you because you got something enough to ask me for help. See, y'all hear me today. And in this series, now, we got to get serious about God. Hmm? Got to get serious about God. Can't come to God sideways. Talking about what pastor don't do. I got to tell God, I need your help. Hello, somebody? He the one that gave me that woman? Why are we here? And he the one that's going to do what he got to do. Huh? Because it says this. He said that a man that finds, come on, y'all go to somebody. Find the good thing. I don't, I don't think my wife is, as, as, as fine as I was, she still wasn't looking for me. Give me some, bro. Give me some. Give me some. Give me, give me, some, bro. Give me some. Give me some. As fine as I was, she wasn't looking for me, John. I walked up on her. I said, I'm going to take you and the children. Come on. She was, still, she was looking so good. I'm going to take you and the children. Come on. Girl. Come on. She wasn't looking for me. She said she hadn't prayed for me, but she wasn't looking. Hello, somebody. Come on, y'all go back to the Bible. Y'all don't start throwing things. Yo. Colossians 2 and 14. Come blotting on. Out, blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us. Stop right here. This is what I want all, everybody in this room to see. God said, if you pray, I'm going to blot out. Good God of my life. Some of y'all hear me today. I came with some revelation. He said, if you pray, and I'm not talking vision word, I'm going to show it to you in scripture. He said, I blot out everything that's been written against you. Some of all of you bold enough to say, thank you, Jesus. He said, whatever they got against you, whatever's on record against you, I blot it out. Who I'm talking to today. There's some things that God said he's getting ready to blot out. Why? Because He's going to help you. How does somebody say God's going to help me? He's going to blot it out. He's going to blot it out. Some things God get ready to blot out. Hello, somebody? Come on, read it, sister. I'm going to show it to you. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Come on. Mm-hmm. Which was contrary to us uh-huh. and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, and having four principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly. Listen, God, see, over them. See, the, see, the devil wants everybody to see you lose. He done got you what he think he, he, he really getting ready to do, do you in now. He done pull you out here far enough, and God said, if you pray. <laughs> Touch somebody, say, did you hear, Bishop? God said, if you pray, I blot it out. Hello, somebody? And I'll make a show of the enemy. Why? Because what he meant for evil, I wish I had two of y'all. What he meant for evil, God said, if you pray, I'll blot it out and I'll work that thing for your good. You were supposed to lose everything, but baby, I'm going to work some things for your good. You won't lose a thing. Jump up, just I ain't losing nothing. Just, I wish I had two. Had somebody who wasn't scared. Had somebody who wasn't scared. I'm not losing what? Nothing. Woo! God's here, blot out whatever the enemy that he got against you. And now, hear me, don't, don't y'all, uh, 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 I know this ain't for y'all beat people, but let me show y'all people like myself. People like myself. At one time, I had some real bad credit. I go to the book for everything. So y'all don't do nothing without God. I go to the book for everything. Now, I'm going to read the scripture again. Now, I'm down to the dealership. Finna to get my wife a brand new uh, car. All right? 
I know the credit ain't good, but we don't want to pay no interest. That was before we got money. We could do some things, you know. Now I can't just go down there. But that was a time I couldn't go. Because on, on my way down there, the devil said, you know, your credit bad. You know, they're going to pull you. You, you. you know, the last car you got financed, American Finance, it was 28%. And then, I, then he said, now, you know how much more you want to pay? That's another $100. And they ain't going to say you ain't qualified. And God gave me something. Read it again. Now, I'm going I'm to show you something. All this bad debt. Come on. Come, come Writing on. of the ordinance huh? that was against us, uh -huh. he said what? which you... was contrary to us, mm -hmm. and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. He said every, every, every debt, every school loan, he said, I'm going to erase it. There won't be no trace when they run your name. Y'all don't want this. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I studied this Bible for real. He said, yeah, the school loan, I'm going to blot it out. I'm going to erase it. There won't be no trace. So I, I, I blot it out. I, you can't do this without God, baby. You got too much debt to get what you want without God. You got too much working against you to get what you want. You can't do this without God. Holla, blot it out. That's right. I like you can do this thing. You better tell God block that thing out. I need you. Help God. Help. Blot it out. Uh, if you would, Pastor, so we can go. Uh, Exodus, if you would, 14. Hmm. Uh, I, I, somebody said, no more access. We're going to learn that everything is controlled by words, Brianna. Everything is controlled by words. So whatever he got access to, it, it's, it's a word somewhere that, 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 that he antagonized or, 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 or irritated me until I said it. And once I said it in that, then it gave him access. Hello, somebody? It gave him access. Here, 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 here's a prophet. When he's going through Jezebel running, he says, I'm no better than my father. He gave, he gave Jezebel access to his whole thinking pattern. Now he started comparing himself with his daddy now when God's on his side. You know what God says now that the enemy got too much access? He tells the man, he said, go pick your replacement. Because you, this, I'm going to give y'all revelation now. He says, you have allowed him to get access to your mind. So, don't, so that no matter what I tell you now, he's already there. Hello? And that's what uh, uh, Shasta said to the, to the Philistine. He said, had not complied with my health. You wouldn't have access to my life. That devil, all he's doing right now, all this stuff y'all going through right now, is he trying to get access to your mouth. If you ever get access to your mouth, you'll say what God didn't say. And if you say what God didn't say, then God got to judge that before he can deliver you. Who I'm talking to? How about somebody? We got to stop. The Bible said we are destroyed for the lack of what? Knowledge. When a man think he is, he what? So sometimes you want to make folk think you so smart. Make folk, make folk think you got what you got something you ain't got. So you start talking, and all the devil doing is saying, keep on talking. Keep talking. Because right? you're going to have to while you're going to say something to give me access to your life. If I ever get access to your life, I come to steal, kill, and destroy. If you don't know how to pray and get that joke out, when it's all said and done, he'll be in the straw at your family. He'll be in kill your dream. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. You said here thinking you want them. And all he wanted access. Sometimes it's, it's, it's listen to me. Whew. I know I got to read, but I, I, I cause, cause we're praying. Well, I really didn't say that much. I just, I was joking. The Bible says you got to give, give account for every word, every idle word. We're praying about stuff that we shouldn't even have to pray about, but you gave him access. The Bible goes as far as to say you are snared with the words of what? Your tongue. It's what y'all said. It's what I said. It ain't that powerful. They kept saying that they was grasshoppers. They kept saying he brought them out there to die in the wilderness. They kept saying stuff. They gave me access by what they said. Now you trying to go pray to a God to get you out of stuff that you done. 
So when you do that, you got to go first and say, like David said, I, what that boy said, I've sinned against you and against heaven. Y'all going to pray? Sometimes you got to get to the place I've sinned against you and against heaven. Oh, so I, I gave him access. I said some stuff I shouldn't have said in my anger. In my anger, I did some things. And I, and I acted the way I shouldn't act because I was angry. I was hurt. Hello, somebody. Then you holler, out, Lord, help. I'm a foolish person. Help. Lord, turn this thing around for me. Help. I know I shouldn't have said it, but help. That devil kept on until he got the best of me. Help. Huh? He will leave Eve alone. Hear me. Y'all hear me. Going to church sometime ain't enough. You have to leave here sometime and go read the Bible and pray some more. Why? Because when he's after you, he's after you. He will leave alone until she did. Sometimes he won't leave you alone until you aggravate, until he aggravate you enough until you say, and then now that's all he gets is what? Access. Trust, trust three people. Around you. He said, We're closing doors today. That will never be open ever again. So tell him, So there's some things I'll never say again. There's some things I'll never ever say again. It will not come out of my mouth. Job said he put his hands over his mouth that he don't let anything come out your mouth. Hello, somebody. You are a speaking spirit. You will not let anything and everything come out your mouth. After the day, that's it. God has cleared out some things that you said and brought in your life, but God said, today I'm cleared out. Oh, well, shit. Here you go. Uh, chapter 14. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, verse, verses 3. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought y'all was in my study room. Come on. Come on. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, uh -huh. they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. See, listen. Pharaoh really saying that you entangled your words have closed every door. Can I talk to y'all today? Pharaoh, that devil have said, listen, they entangled. They don't even know what they said. Monica, he don't want uh, uh, you and your husband to ever realize. Do, do y'all hear me today? William, he don't want you to ever think that the words that came out your mouth. Do you hear me, Red? Do you hear me, Alicia? He don't want nobody to ever think that the word that came out their mouth is the reason why their life is in town. He said they can't get out. He said they can't get out. Do y'all know the difference? Uh, do I have any, any confidence here? Do you know the difference in an electric gun? Boop! That shoot nails. Electric gun over the period of, of time, it, enough wind come, those nails will move. That's why the Bible said his word is like a hammer. When God's word beat that thing out you, it, it's, it's, it's done. Today God said he's going to use a hammer. His word is a hammer. That devil won't be able to work this thing out you. He won't work out your mind because what God is doing, he is dreading some stuff in us. That no matter what storm you go through with, after the, today you will tell God, I'm not doing that anymore on my own. I need your what? Help. Do y'all hear me? I feel like preaching, but I got too much revelation that I cannot let you leave here without knowing. But the devil thinks you entangled. He think the words that you said, you will never get out of them because you are too powerful to reverse what you say. You are too powerful to admit I'm wrong. So guess what that's called, Gerald? That's called entanglement. When a person won't repent, when a person will not regress or will not admit, that's called entanglement. He said that's entangled. Oboshi, Olabasha. They're entangled. Then the Bible says you're snared by the words of your mouth. It's entanglement. And now the only person to help you is God. Can I show it to you? Pastor, skip down to verse 14. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. 
I, I feel like preaching, but I got to make sure that you don't leave The this. Lord shall fight for you, uh -huh. and he shall hold your peace. What? He said God's going to fight. He's, he's, he's not, if you pray and stop this complaining, you've been tangled. But if you hold your peace, what do you mean by this? Don't fault nobody. Can I talk to somebody? What he's saying, don't put the blame on nobody. Just hold your peace. When you hold your peace, you're at the mercy of God. You're just saying, God, I'm at your mercy. Oh, God, I need your help. God said, nah, I'll fight for you. The reason why God can't do what he want to do, because you won't shut up. You won't be quiet. Don't know if nobody, because they'll fight you now. But they won't shut up. They feel like they can talk their way out of anything. But God said, if you be quiet, I'll fight for you. Sometimes all you need to do is just go somewhere and sit down and tell God, I just need your help. I gave y'all some revelation today. I just need your help, Lord. God said, if you shut up, I got angels, I'll, I'll put the work on your behalf. God ain't leaving heaven. God, how hard you pray. He got angels that his dispatch to go do what you need done. Do y'all hear me? Can I give you one more and then we'll close? Oh, Lord, I lost you, God. Now, you know y'all my babies, man. I do it like this. Pastor, um, why are you in Numbers 14, right? I, I, I mean, go to Numbers 14. Come on. Come on. I ain't got nobody who's cheering me on today. Everybody stop cheering for me and everything. I'm a, oh, Lord. Ah, I can't get no help now. <laughs> Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Because you know that them words you say, that's why you can't get the breakthrough you need. It is an entanglement. Hello, somebody? It's an entanglement. Come on, read, Pastor. 42. Go not up, for the Lord is not among you. Mm hmm that well, ye stop, be not stop, stop. He said, go not up. Listen to me. If you ain't going to repent, don't do what you're trying to do. If you ain't going to pray and ask God to take this off of me, I need your help. He said, don't do what you're trying to do because I'm not with you. Lord, I'm not. Read it again. Let, 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 I don't know who this is for. Read this again. This ain't even in, in the notes. Let, 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 let me show this Go to you. not up, uh -huh. for the Lord is not among you. No, read, need... it from the, leave, read it from the Amplified of the Living. I need y'all to see what, what this thing say. Come on. Then we get out of here. Don't go back up. Don't go doing what you think going to work so you can show nobody because God's ain't with you. Everything you touch will fall. Do not go up or you will be struck down before your enemies. What? For the Lord is not among you. Uh -huh. Stop right there. He said, don't go. Listen, until we learn how to pray and tell God to help us, don't stop, don't keep doing what you think. That's gonna work, and you can prove that you wasn't wrong. Did you hear me today? But God said, I'm not with you now. He says, if you call upon me, then I answer. If you hold your peace, I'll fight your battle. Don't keep doing what you want to do, because I ain't gonna go with you now. Hello, somebody? Do you hear me? I'm going to close this book. I, 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 got, I got some things rolling in my head I can show you. Can I show you one more? You just hit my head. Uh, numbers 23 and 20, baby. I can show it to you. I can, can I show it to you? Numbers 23 and 20. Then I got three points I'm going I'm to talk about, and, I, and then we'll go. Come on, baby. Numbers 23 and 20. Are you praying for me, Big DJ? Behold, I have received commandments to bless. Uh-huh. And he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Listen to me. I'm going to leave this with you, because I don't want to leave with you that he ain't going up with you. Listen. He says, I, I'll get an angel, Jesse, charged to go with you. Come walk with me. I'll, I'll give an angel. He says, if Kim repent, not saying she did, I'm going to just use it for example. If Kim repent, say, Lord, I ain't trying to fix him no more. I ain't trying to do this no more. I ain't trying to punish nobody no more. 
I ain't got nothing to say. I'm going to be still and let you fight my battle. I'm going to my prayer room. And all I'm going to do is say, Lord, I need this. I need that. Lord, help. Hello, somebody? Now, he said, be quiet. I'm not going over to my husband. If you was a better, and it isn't, no, God said, be quiet. God said, be quiet. I'm going to restore, not him. I'm going to restore everything that she's lost. He says, I'm not only going to restore that, I'm going to deal with you too. You won't be coming to church just with the grandchildren. Some of them girls out the wild are going to start following. He said, I'm going to deal with the children. He said, you won't just come out because Pharaoh is going to try to entangle you. He know that you come out these streets. He know you'll say something slick and walk off. And some said, what you say? I ain't say nothing. He know you'll say something slick. So God says, I'm going to have to fight for you. In other words, everything the devil's accuser of the brothers, everything that the devil keep bringing up that Kim said and did, God said, I'm going to fight that in court for you. I'm going to go before my father. He said that Jesus is an advocate for it. He said on the right hand of God. He said, now say, and the devil bring up, well, Kim said this, and Kim said she shouldn't even come back to Fort Lauderdale, and this, this, and that. He said she's already repented for that. I've already dealt with her about that. And the devil's using this against her. Strict, strict that from the, from the books. Strict that from the books. So I told her she called me. I would answer. She called me and she had repented and I removed that. Removed that from the book. So now the devil's saying, well, I, I, wait, 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 I got something else. God says, speak now. Forever hold your peace. He says, I'm going to, so now he, he bringing Kim out. And, and, and he says, Kim, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove every trace struggle since you've been back. I'm going to erase every shame that, that you felt. In other words, he says, I'm going to bless you abundantly. Press down, shaking together. I wish I had two. Girl, I feel this. He says, I'm going to cause your enemies to be good to you. Hello, somebody? And he said, if that ain't enough, ask for what else you want. That ain't enough. Ask for what else you want. You ain't got to do nothing else on your own because I've given angels charge over you. So now, the angels that are with her now saying, oh, Kim, don't say the wrong thing. Because I got a command in me to bless her. Okay, let me show you. Kim, come on down. So she take her Chevrolet to the dealership. You know, and she just, you know, I'm just riding and then the dude Joyce gone and the pastor ain't got time. I just saw right out here. If I had to trade this in, what would y'all give me? He said, what would y'all give me? The man said, they just traded out. And he said, they ain't but a year old and they don't have but uh, 22,000 miles on it. Say, if, if you got that and if I could get you uh, approved, so him, I'm, I'm looking at him like he's giving us revelation. He said, if I can get that approved, um, um, I could put you in that for $400 a month. No money down. You know what Kim's supposed to do? She said, well, you go run it. And then she go and get Colossians 2 and 14. She said, blot out. Blot out. Blot out the handwriting. You know, she called the guard on a secret job. You know, she done got to. Colossians 2 14, Father. Blot out. Everything that may show up on the credit. Blot out everything that may be against me. I wish I had somebody in here that could walk the way I'm trying to teach y'all how to walk. I'm trying to teach y'all how we're going to walk, baby. We ain't going to just take no more. We're going to walk in this thing now. Y'all hear me? She started saying, blot it out. Blot it out. Blot it out. I drove it. I drove it. But if you're going to bless me. Listen. We ain't complaining, but if you're going to bless us, how that somebody say it's going to be big? Oh, God, I wish I had two of y'all. I told y'all I had three things to talk about. The first thing I said, if you stand, I don't want to talk about the one thing, just stand until the angel of God show up. 
Oh, how does somebody say just stand? God's going to show up. I don't need you to go nowhere else. I don't need you to do nothing. I don't need you to call nobody. Just stand. Come on. Come on, women. Tell, tell the woman, say, just stand. I, I know you feel like moving. I know you're tired. I know you're frustrated. But just stand. Because I was here. They won't stop. Hey, hey, I, I know you had enough, but just stand. Is that true, y'all I can talk to? Is that anybody stand with me? Just say, I done made my mind up. I'm going to just stand. Uh, I'm going to stand still and see what God's going to do. God's got a plan that he ain't shown me yet. Stand. So now the angel says, if you stand, I'm going to make them pay restitution. The second thing is get ready for your restitution. God's going to pay you back for all the years at the caterpillar. Woo! Look at, look at somebody say, pull your phone out. That's the interest coming. Oh, you just ain't going ain't gonna to just get a new car, baby. You're going to get some new clothes. Oh, you're going to get some, oh, get some cute. Oh, look at somebody say, I am getting paid for everything and interest. I was there for y'all say, God's going to pay interest. Everything. On everything. Did y'all hear me today? On everything. So he says, that, that, that angel says, last thing, <laughs> what the angel said, fear not. If God be for you. He said, now listen, I need you to stand. I, told him, I want you to know what, what's coming. Interest coming. He's going to pay your restitution. He said, but I'm going to have to move out the way. He said, because they're going to throw I got to give them a chance to throw their words. He said, but fear not. If God be for you, now, ooh, what, 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 what I mean, come here for a minute, Travis. Come here. What, what, what I mean by that? Said, oh, you, you give me some. Feel, like Feel not. Because the first man may tell you, uh, we can't finance you. So God says, Feel not. They told Travis the same thing, too. He says, I got another dealer. The next time you go for a ride, go into the one I told you to go into. Yeah, but you're trying to keep up with this person and that person. But Nisa, when God say turn, whether it's Chevrolet, whether it's Ford, whether it's Lexus, whether it's Mercedes, wherever he's at, see, see, when God start talking, sometimes I lose my preference. Bless me any way you bless me. I wish I had two of y'all. Well, I know that that's some stuff that really gets me. Well, I know that that's some thing. I ain't gonna tell God. Well, if you don't, no, 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 no. Anyway, you bless me. I wish I had two of y'all. Say, so anyway, you bless me. I'll be satisfied. Long as, it, long as ain't nobody else can. Oh, you're singing somewhere else, one. That's another person. If that one don't do it, that's what the angel said. He said, fear not. Yeah, but Joyce, I went down now. He said, I told you be quiet. Don't tell Joyce. Oh, what, what, I'm, what, no, see, y'all got all kinds of excuses. Oh, I can call Pastor Zima, Pastor Zima, proper wife. He said, did I tell you don't tell nobody? Stand still. You know what stand still means sometimes? I can't tell you nothing, Joyce. I can't tell you nothing, Boosie. Can't tell you nothing, can't you? Just stand still. Stand still. When you get in the car, I said to Johnson, yeah. I said, girl, I've been looking for this thing for six months. I just couldn't tell nobody. Ooh, I was so tired. I'm so wired of going to the car dealership. I know when the people saw me, I saw one man running back on the inside, but I just kept going because God said he was going to bless me. Who I'm talking to? Now, now y'all hear me. God's going to get ready to erase every trace of what you think will be your hindrance. He's finna erase every trace. Do you hear me? Of what you think gonna be your hindrance. And I came today to talk to guilty people. What do you mean guilty people? I came to talk to people who were entangled. We said some things we shouldn't have said, 
But God said, I still sent an angel to get you out of what you're in. Now, all I need you to do is keep praying to me. All I need you to do is just keep repenting to me. Keep telling them, God, I know I did wrong. I know I probably shouldn't have said that. No, I should have, because why are you repenting? I'm going to say this thing. Y'all ain't going to want to do this. Why are you are repenting? Why are you are crying? Why are you going through what you're going through? With? Guess what God may haul off and tell you? I, I hope you don't do it like he did me. He said, uh, I need you to go over there and uh, fix that for her. Fix it, huh? She needs $200. Lord, I'm going to look for a car. He said, no, fix that for her. Oh, since I got close to you, he said, I got to give you stuff. Lord, have mercy. Lord, can I give you that? Can you give me something, dear? He said, I can't. He said, I got to give you that. <laughs> he didn't tell you to give me nothing. He said, nobody give you nothing. Lord, have mercy. You, you jokers, man. Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Go back up here. I ain't got but a little bit of love. I got close. He said, you got to give yourself something. Listen, give me real good. He's going to remove every trace. I walk by this lady's house every day. And I tell God, do not let her get sick in that house by herself. Do not let her need stuff that you get to know sometimes I, I pry every day. Early in the morning before she get up, because she know early first. So I could do it before she came buying me up. Already every day. You know, make sure. Listen, your prayer life cannot just be about you. Do y'all hear me? Faith working by love. What I want for her, he'll do for you. And what he do for you, he'll maybe eventually do it for me. I may not need it yet, Glennis, but she need it right now. Send him a grass on by the hand. And all of a sudden, I said, you can't do it with daddy. You're going to need him now. You're going to need him in this future. Need he don't want that to can wipe away bad credit. Hello, somebody? He don't want to. Come on, Roy, grab him. Grab him. He, he, he don't want that, that can erase it. There won't be a trace of it. They won't find it in the books nowhere. Nowhere they won't find it. If God be for you, do you hear me? Tell yourself. I say this because I feel led of God. There's nobody in this room disqualifies from God's blessing. I don't care what you've done. There's nobody in this room that disqualifies yourself from God's blessing. You would just repent. When that boy got home and, and he told his dad I see him between be, be, before you and heaven, you know what the first thing God did? He said, put him on the reign. I want to establish. I'm going to pray an establishment prayer that God's going to put a blessing on you that's going to establish you in this season. That everybody who's watching your car or, or they still got it, watching this, they just still, no, God's going to establish you this season. When he put that ring on him, he established that this is my son. I'm going to pray that God established that you are his anointing, that you belong to him, that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Do y'all hear me today? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray this prayer of establishment. Put that anointing on them in such a way that demons recognize that the season they had to frustrate to antagonize, to irritate, it's over. You are doing a new work in every person. You're going to establish them. The anointing that you're going to put on their life is like the ring that that man put on his son's finger. Now God put the robe of glory on them. You taught me about your glory. Put the robe of glory. Put on them that battle like Shield. You got glory over Pharaoh and you brought him out. So God put it over glory. You have fought our enemies. You have, de you have demolished what was going to hold us. You have brought it to know everything that was against us has been erased. Put the glory on us. In the name of Jesus. I call somebody who's sick whole. I call somebody who came in here wondering, free. I call somebody who come in here undecided, delivered. In the name of Jesus. Eboshi. Hiya. They're not going down there without you. 
So you got to go with them. They're not going to try this no more without you. So you got to go with them. They're not going to even move without you. You got to go with us. Your word said you'll never forsake us. So Lord, here we are. Here we are. You have kept us covered from people so that you can give us an opportunity to straighten up behind the scenes. We are under the shadows of your wings and you're dressing us over again. We won't sink down in our minds no more. We're coming up because we're looking up. In the name of Jesus, angels, go to work on every person in this ministry behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, put your hands together. Just stand right there where y'all. Listen. Listen, I don't feel led to pray for anybody until a day. Um,